It's your girl T here back with another Sunday video. I hope you guys are having a beautiful blessed day, which I assume you are because your tea timers is just what we do. Our affirmation of today is I'm chosen. I'm the one. I'm chosen. We're always chosen. It's our reality. We create the rules. I have been getting a lot of uh, correspondence surrounding three P's. Three P's. What's a three P? It is a third party. It is an unwanted party in the situation with your significant person. Or you can have third parties with anything. You can have third party in a job situation where they get the job and you don't. It is basically a reflection of our insecurities in the form of a human being. So when we have third parties specifically with our SP, it is painful. It sucks. It's it's not a great feeling your heart drops you're all I know I I have I've created them myself it's it's the worst you feel like you have been manifesting this person and then you find out that they have a boyfriend or girlfriend or you find out that they've been seeing somebody and it is hurtful it's painful it kicks the wind out of you and then of course your brain wants to focus on what the third party looks like or if you know what the third party looks like picturing them together in some scenic hallmark adventure together we have to do our first of all I want to say acknowledge that sucks have a day or two or however long I don't know what just happened in my throat or however long it takes you to mourn that your SP is speaking to somebody else, dating someone else, interacting with somebody else in a romantic way, whatever. Take a day or two or an hour, however long you grieve for, to, re to really accept the fact that, that sucks. It's not great. It's not your favorite. And when you are prepared, do your best to either ignore the 3P, which is my preferred method, ignore them and focus on the reality of you and your SP being together and the relationship that you want, affirm the, the third party away. Some coaches will advise you to wish to have some conversation with the third party where you're like, oh, thanks for showing up and showing me my insecurities, uh, but I'm the only one that has what my SP needs, so I'm going to ask you to leave now. Have a good day. Like, I don't need all that drama in my mind. I don't care about that. The third thing... It works for some people, but I don't even interact with the third party in my mind because I'm like, you have no spot. My best advice to you is to do your best to just not even acknowledge the third party, push them as far out of your mind as you can, and focus on you and your SP, the relationship you want, how they make you feel, how you make them feel, how you feel about yourself, how they fit into your reality, and focus on that. Focus, focus, focus on that. The best way to snuff out a third party, in my opinion, is to just not even acknowledge them at all and get rid of them out of your reality, your realm of focus. Yes, they exist in your 3D for a minute, but people can change in 52 seconds. Your SP could be talking to them today and forget about them tomorrow. They could do something that really irritated them and they don't want to talk to them anymore. Circumstances change so fast and so quickly. You guys have to stop looking at the 3D as, as if it's cemented in time, like it's going to stay forever. The best way to make something fast forward, like on our journey and get past the ugly parts is to focus your brain and your subconscious on what you want. You don't want that third party. Push them away as far back as they can go. If you do have to focus on them, you can say certain affirmations that will bypass them altogether. In my reality, I'm the only one who loves my SP. My SP isn't loved by anyone else in my reality besides me. Nobody even likes my SP romantically in my 3D except for me. My SP cannot find what he needs from anyone but me be creative do whatever you want it's your reality you can create rules to cut out the op the um opportunity for a 3p to come in and get free rent in a place that you don't even want them existing you can make up rules that alleviate even the opportunity for a third party to come in get crafty with it 
it's up to you. It's your reality. But like I said before, if you really want the third party gone, I have tried this. You ignore the third party. You ignore that they ever entered your 3D reality and you focus on how loved and chosen you are, how wanted and desired you are, how you have what they cannot get from anybody else and how you are treated like a king or a queen because that's who you are in your reality and see how quickly it shifts. If you guys have questions or comments surrounding third parties, please ask them below. And while you're down there, like, subscribe, share. We're blowing up the channel. I love y'all, but not as much as you should be loving yourselves and not the third parties. Bye.